Hi, everyone. Welcome to Digital Retail Delivered, where we look at retail's digital future. Today, I'm excited to welcome uh, Mark Wong, the director of Tencent's Smart Retail Division. Mark works across China to help retailers digitize their businesses, grow their digital sales, and overall become more data-driven. Mark worked at BCG before Tencent, was a project leader and a consultant helping to advise clients across different industries. And Mark studied business at Northwestern in the US and Fudan before that in Shanghai. Mark, welcome. Yes. Thanks, Jordan. Um, it's my pleasure to join you and share the trends we see in China. Mark, let's start with just helping us understand what is Tencent? Yeah, sure. Um, so Tencent is a leading internet company in China. And uh, traditionally, it focuses on social gaming entertainment, uh, which we call consumer internet. So, um, you know, we are the world's largest com gaming company. Um, we have a set of leading content products such as Tencent Video, um, Tencent Music. Uh, we have um, WeChat and QQ as two leading social products with active users at 1.2 and, and 0.8 billion, respectively. Um, and since 2018, we put more resources um, you know, on what we call industrial internet. So basically, with, that is our to-be service businesses. Great. Well, WeChat is a product that most people have heard of. Yes. I don't think many people really understand just how integral WeChat is in the lives of both consumers and businesses in China. Help us paint a picture of what that's like for China yeah. society. Yeah. Okay. So um, I think, first of all, uh, most of the people think of WeChat as an instant messaging product. Uh, of course, that's also its primary function. Um, so uh, that's most similar to WhatsApp in the West, but WeChat actually offers a lot more instead of uh, just social. Um, so for starters, you can send voice messages. You can uh, call your friends or start a video chat through WeChat. It's very convenient. Um, you know, it, it might be difficult to describe how user-friendly it is, but I can tell you what happens in China is that often after people meet, um, you know, we probably don't even exchange phone number or business cards. We just exchange WeChat contacts. Um, that's, that's how people usually would like to stay uh, connected. Yeah, so that's on the social side. And secondly, I think... Um, WeChat has successfully built a very strong contents ecosystem. Um, so if I make um, a, another analogy, it's like Facebook or LinkedIn where you follow a QOL or enterprise account to read the articles or view the videos about what's new. Um, and thirdly, uh, WeChat offers something very special that is called mini program. Um, so that's something you, you, you probably don't have in the West. Uh, basically, uh, um, you know, it, it can do anything that uh, you can do with an app. But this mini program sits in the WeChat. So, you know, you can open any mini program as long as you have WeChat without downloading a, a single app. Uh, so, what, so what happens is that um, after you have WeChat, you have an unlimited number of apps already available on your phone, uh, meaning you know, for retailers, any consumer can connect to a large number of companies' services. And, and last but certainly not least, you know, WeChat Pay is a huge um, option for mobile payment in China. Um, so that's also a very important foundation why we can you know, do things like smart retail. So you've got Facebook, LinkedIn, <laughs> PayPal, video, and any type of app possible that you could find in an app store also built into a single app. Yes, um, I, I think ultimately that's, that's what we want to do. You know, we, we sort of want to have 
which have like um, more like Sperry or an operating system um, so that you can really have unlimited options in, in just one app. I think it's, it might be difficult to, to imagine and you probably think, oh, this, is, this has to be really messy. Um, but you know, I, I would say if you can have a chance, just download and experience it yourself. Um, it's pretty cool. Okay, so let's talk smart retail. Why would Tencent have an interest in the retail business other than trying to sell ads to retailers? What is it that you're trying to accomplish in the retail industry? Yeah. Um, yeah. So I think um, one important context I should give here is that on average, um, you know, um, internet user in China spends more time on WeChat um, than that in the U.S. on Facebook and in Instagram combined. Um, so that gives us a lot of room for people to really browse uh, content and, you know, in the context of retail browse uh, products um, on WeChat. Um, so we began to see that media program um, as individual dot coms for brands and retailers um, and we chat, uh, you know, more like Sperry or, or operating system um, on that perspective. So in China, you know, because mobile um, internet developed very fast, so people are not so happy with having too many apps um, or constantly typing all the dot coms domains on that small screen. Um, so. So the shopping experience um, official website was missing for, for quite a long time, um, I would say. So that's, um, I think, the important reason why we, what, what we want to provide to businesses and consumers. So, so that is the dot-com shopping experience, which sits in WeChat. Got it. So whereas in parts of the world, the brand website is still a pretty big channel mm. and because China has been so marketplace driven for so long, you actually are bringing back the brand channel, giving users a, a direct way to sell or sorry, giving sellers a direct way to sell. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. So, so I think, you know, we, we also, we very recently we did the interesting study, you know, comparing the users experiencing the U S dot com, um, uh, you know, versus platform e-commerce in the U S. And then we, we look at the same picture in, in China. We think there's still a lot of our, a lot of things for us to learn. So for example, you know, um, the, the shoppers in the U.S., they mentioned that, um, you know, the shopping experience on individual.com is more trustworthy um, because you're interacting with the brand directly. And secondly, uh, you know, the, the .com really understand their loyal customers. They have their pages developed just the way how their customers love it. Um, it's not, you know, on a platform, everything is sort of generic. Um, you have to, you know, build the, the brand of your own platform. So a lot of things had to be set, um, you know, at, on the similar page so that weakens the perception um, and the experience for the consumer on the brand itself. Um, so, yeah, we, we think that's, that's attractive. Mm -hmm.